All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to a new Requiem series. It's been a little bit, but I'm back with a new build, or as you might say, an old build, because we're going to be playing another Atronach Stone Battle Mage, which if you remember is kind of the first character that I ever showed on this channel. But with the changes to heavy armor casting in the latest Requiem update, as well as a new spell that Forn added in a new-ish F-tweaks, namely Funerary Rite, felt like it was a good time to come and revisit this character. So here we are. Starting skills we're going to take are Conjuration, Alchemy, and One-Handed. Under Conjuration, we're going to focus on the left side tree, the Spirits and Daedra, as well as Bound Weapons. Alchemy is going to give us, I mean, healing potions, as well as all the nice buffs. One-handed is our main melee damage. And then later on, we're also going to go into heavy armor, as befitting of a battle mage, and destruction, focusing on ice magic. As I mentioned, birth sign is going to be the Atronach stone, which I like a lot. It really changes the way you use magic, because now you get this big pool of magic that you get to ration around throughout your day. And so if you're fighting an easy encounter and you feel like you don't need magic, then great. You can just take it on with melee. If you're fighting a hard encounter, you can drop like five ice runes and nuke a huge group of enemies, and it's great. Um, in terms of the Divine Blessing, as you might have been able to guess from the character title, the Cold Harbor Crusader is going to be worshipping Moleg Ball. But that's going to be later on. Right now he doesn't help us too much, so we're going to go with Zenithar. I think that's it. Let's get started. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go the woods again. can be so peaceful this time of year. Good hunting. We'll do everybody's favorite start, camping in the woods. So to start out, we're going to take a weapon, a shield, regeneration, and a soup. Get our rested bonus. Let's hop right into it. So I'm actually going to wait for this bandit to walk in front of the campfire, because it makes it easier for me to run in and break the bow without the other bandits getting in the way. Now ain't this a surprise? You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Well, I think this run is done for. Draw the eyes out of you, fool. It's nothing! What's the matter, friend? I know. You're weak. At this point, I have no health, so I gotta be really safe, so I'm gonna cheese it. Why struggle? Hmm? You're dead. Oh, not so tough now, are you? gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? 
You're a fool to fight me. Oh. <laughs> It's not the most glorious way to do this fight. But I'm alive, and that's what matters, right? This is why I got the regeneration potion. Okay, next thing I want to do is head up to the Talos Shrine, because we might get some mace upgrades from the monks here. I've seen them have like dwarven or orcish maces before, and so let's see how lucky we get. Nope. And nope. Not even an upgrade to steel. Uh, whoops, did not mean to put those on. Just wanted the gloves so I could sell them. And then we'll check out the mace down here. Or not mace, the mage down here. This is another RNG thing. Sometimes they'll have a really nice... Ooh. Wait. Mage is dead. Did the troll kill the mage already? Or I don't know about mage is dead, because... I want the skill book though. Uh, I don't see the mage's body either. Which I would like to find. Alright, I guess I just got trolled. No mage. I want the butterflies. Oh, come on. And I get rock joint. This is not a good start. Alright, rock joint doesn't matter too much, because we have no AP anyway. I'm just... This is awful Never luck. Come here. What? Oh. I was like, no, there's no way the hunter is also aggro on me. We've either lost him or he's going to give us a really nasty surprise once we go on Denver Shard, but we'll see. Time to die. Not impressed. I should be picking up heavy armor. Also, yes, I know that was like the worst spacing in the history of Skyrim. We don't talk about that. I think I was being too close because it was better than you being too far. If you're too far, then the Dunmer power attacks you and you just die. Yeah. 
much easier to rob when you're dead. Yeah. Have you? I tell you what. You start running so I can stab you in the back. I'm worried that he's going to do the thing where he normal attacks and then immediately cancels into a forward power attack. Gonna split your belly like an old woman. Because that'll just kill me. Die, damn you. But it seems like this one me? is dead. not very power attack happy. So I should be safe. <laughs> Let's not forget there's a wolf down there. Not that he's too threatening. I mean, I already have rock joint. He can't give it to me again. So yeah, starting out, this character is pretty much just a sword and board. The only spell we have is the the wolf, which I use mostly as a way to kill archers. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Gotta watch my stamina for a little bit. Fool, I'll have your blood. You won't leave here alive. Ah! You call yourself a Nord? These Grimoire would be ashamed of you. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! Now I just gotta be careful of the two-hander coming out of the darkness and one-shotting me with a power attack. On my wall. Ah! Uh, uh.
What do we got? Is that a wood elf bandit? I feel like you don't see too many of those. You're dead. You hear me? Dead. You're gonna die for that. What? I blocked. What is that? I cannot best. Wait, you saw that, right? I clearly blocked that hit. This is just a cursed start. <laughs> At least we got lucky on the insight rule. I was gonna say, if I open this chest and see two insights... Anyway, now it's just the last room, and the name of the game here is just... Pulling the bandits back so you don't have to deal with the archer at the same time. If you can deal with the two melee bandits separately, then that's even better. Okay, but I'm doing 16 damage a hit to her. This is going to take a while. Gonna power attack. This is the end for you. See, these are the kind of bandits that I, I really want destruction for. Because they're just they're just tanks. But unfortunately, I don't have you destruction won't live yet. To see tomorrow. Okay, something is wrong. Something is wrong with this game. I blame Azrak. This is the end for you. Is that the best you can do? Oh, I'm out of stamina too. I can take you. gonna have to sit at this medium range for a little bit until I heal up. I want to at least be able to take a normal from her. Just in case I mess up spacing or whatever. Screw it. You won't live to see tomorrow. I guess I could do this. Let the wolf get in some extra damage. This is the end for you. Not too much though. Yeah. Yeah. No more. Are you Finally. No. What are you wearing? Steel plate, okay. Do I have any healing potions? Oh, I do. Do I want to use it right now though? Wait, I should have been using it against her. I didn't realize I had this thing on me. That would have made this a lot safer. Um, but at this point... 30 minutes on my buffs. I think I'll just wait.
I'll paint the snow with your blood. Mer ah! Uh, uh, uh. And this is the real reason I took Conjuration. Alright, there we go. That was not the cleanest run of Ember Shard Mine. But, as I've already said, we're alive and that's what matters. Unfortunately, since we don't have lockpicking and we don't have the stats to bash open these chests, we're going to have to leave them alone. I'm going to put all my points into heavy armor starting out because I want to be able to wear that as soon as possible. And yeah, please bear with me on the ingredient picking, but early game I need to get all the potions that I can get. Enraging room, interesting. That might be fun if we were an alchemy character. Or not an al sorry, not alchemy, uh, an illusion character. But we are not, so we're just gonna sell that. And I noticed we got another two insights, so at least this run is going well in one way. Level up! As I said, I want to be able to wear heavy armor as soon as possible. Technically I could wear it right now, but I really want to get the... What? The level 20 perk that lets you sprint because it just it's just much safer that way. Um, even in heavy armor, there are some attacks you want to be able to avoid, and being able to sprint just helps that a lot. So we'll still in light, stay in light for another few dungeons. Last thing I want to do is, of course, get the two bandits up on the hill here. I think ideally we'd have time to do another dungeon as well because we have 20 minutes on our buffs. This time I actually ended up taking a lot more damage than I normally do, or I would have liked to at least, and had to do a lot more waiting in Ember Shard, so our buffs are running a little bit low. But we'll see. Maybe we'll still have enough to do like Redoran's retreat or something. Alright, do I I do have a crossbow. Good. Let's use this guy, why not? I'm sure I'll get tons more of these That's explosive enough. arrows. That's close enough. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. I 
I love a good fight. Shit, where is he shooting from? No more. Ah, he's up there. Okay. Go get him. Enough. You're dead. You hear me? Dead. Damn, I'm surprised he didn't use any of this on me. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so, despite taking way more hits than I really should have, we're here. And we made it. So, there's a lot of random town stuff that I have to do right now. Selling things off, starting quests, going to white run you know the drill but I'll do that off screen and then pick back up when we have more bandit content I'll see you then all right you guys so we still have about just enough time on my buffs I think to do another dungeon so as I mentioned we're here outside Redoran's retreat it's a pretty short dungeon only three bandits and a dog and it gives you pretty nice rewards. It gives you a treasure map as well as insights. So I think it's a pretty good, like, second dungeon to do. Did I just absolutely miss that shot? Oh damn, okay. The other two. I was hoping to be able to deal with the archer before we got the entire squad out, but I guess not. So now I need to make space, because I need to fight these two melee guys and not get bothered by the archer. Okay, they're both two-handers. They're both orcs, though. Someone's um, gonna get hurt. You... Yeah, so I need to make a lot of space. How skin you alive. Who's that? You heard that crossbow, right? Or that bolt. So I need to go go real far. Come on, come on. You're a fool to fight me. I fought worse than you. Ooh. I actually I don't want to get too close to that fort I think I might actually like it's possible for me to aggro them means if I'm going this way I gotta watch my back What did I say about watching my back? I'm so lucky that the bear attacked the bandits I and not me. You. You puny
I'll show you what a real orc can do. I'm trying to be very conservative with my hits. Because if I swing when I have an opening on one and the other guy You're does a forward like power attack, Dendar it's over. While you can. I'll show you a real fight. You puny weakling. Pray to Stendar while you can. You're a fool to fight me. Just trying to make sure I don't back up into a rock or something. <laughs> I think you're bleeding. I fought worse than you. I'll show you the real. I cannot best you. Nice. I heard the archer. Where is he? <laughs> there we go. This was a boss bandit? His gear is so bad. Anyway, overall I gotta say that went pretty well. Let's go see what kind of loot we get, and then we'll pick up the treasure map and call it a day. I feel like I should install that, like, infinite stamina out of combat mod that some people use. It'll make traveling like this so much more, like, quality of life. Alright, we got heavy armor to 25. And next is one-handed. Is that a level up? Just barely no. But we'll get uh, one inside at least from the treasure chest. So, that's fine. Alright, I will cut out this walk because it is a little bit long. That's a beautiful view though. Man, for a, uh, what, 10-year-old game? Still never ceases to amaze. Oh hey, you can see the lights from High Hrothgar up on the side of the mountain up there. That's pretty cool. Okay, I should watch my immediate surroundings though. Sabercat will still fuck me up. Alright. I'll see you guys at the treasure chest.
Interesting. So we're not getting very lucky with enchanted gear, but we are getting pretty lucky with numbers of insights. That's a level up. Okay, I'm going to call the episode here. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.